So if you're like me and you missed the Call of Duty World War II beta when it hit Xbox and PlayStation consoles, you may have thought the wait was on until November for the full release. Well, if you have a PC, they opened the beta up to the public and you could hop on and play it for yourself. What's up guys, Goonzig here and welcome to my initial thoughts on Call of Duty World War II. So far, I've put in about 10 hours of gameplay and feel like I've gotten a grasp on most of the stuff that we have access to within the game. I think it's definitely going to be a great year for Call of Duty, but is this what the series needs to get back on everyone's good side? I guess we will have to wait and see. Before we jump into the video, I would appreciate it if you guys could hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy my content and if you enjoy this video at any time, smash that thumbs up button for me, guys. Throw any comments down below, let's get right in to the video. Now we have to keep in mind that the beta is pretty limited. It's not the full game, but we do get to dive into the game, so we actually do get a feel for what we will see come November. I have a few good things to say about the game and of course a few bad things as well, which is no surprise for a beta version of a game. Now hopping into it, let's talk about the good. The maps are tight, the action is constant, and it feels very, very balanced in a sense. I'll get into the game balance later on in the video. The game itself feels great back to boots on the ground, so really, what can we complain about? With COD being full of jetpacks and boosters over the last few years, it really is nice to take a step back and return to the roots of Call of Duty. Boots on the friggin' ground, my dudes. I really enjoyed that aspect of it. You didn't have to expect enemies to fall from the sky, and the game itself felt really enjoyable. With the maps being as tight and compact as they are, it really keeps the action going. I found I could never catch a break, which may not be a great thing when you're going for that 50 kill streak, but it kept the game action packed and upbeat. I'll always remember EXO boosting around a map to do like 3 laps and then not even find an enemy. Not in World War 2 though, you have to be on your toes, ready for anyone, anywhere. Watch those flanks. Moving on from the maps, let's talk about the score streaks. To start off, I found it actually took quite a bit to even earn just like a UAV. I felt like I would go on some crazy good streaks just to die and be rewarded with, well, nothing. Now this can be good and bad. On one end, you won't be pulling UAVs out of your butt every 10 seconds, and on the other end, you won't be popping up on the enemy's radar like a Christmas tree 24-7. Let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoy the score streaks the way they are or if they should find a way to make them easier to get. Let me know down below. Me personally, I like the way the score streak system is right now. It feels feels balanced and, well, you actually have to earn the rewards. So I guess that's the good side of things and, well, let's talk about the bad. There isn't really much within the game I don't really like. For starters, the game is definitely SMG dominant. Now, I did try out all of the other gun types and yes, they are good, but the SMGs just straight up dominate. Sniping felt really good, but since the maps are so close quarters, I actually found myself getting rushed by the SMGs and well, I stood no chance when I was standing there with my sniper. So this is where the game needs some balancing in my opinion. Balance out the guns so we don't see 11 people using SMGs in a 12 person lobby. It makes the game more fun for everyone when you can pick up any gun and actually get a good gameplay with it. Although I guess this is kind of besides the fact though because the World War II PC beta has been flooded with hackers. So if you were like me and thought, hey, I missed the beta on consoles, let's hop on PC. Well, you are in for a treat. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Headshot City. That's right, guys, I said it, hackers. The game on PC is absolutely full of them. It's at the point where I can't even get a gameplay anymore. They've ruined the beta for everyone, and I mean everyone. It's almost impossible to get into a game without a hacker. I hopped on one day and thought to myself, am I, am I really this bad? I would watch the kill cams and these people would have laser beam accuracy while my gun is, you know, bouncing all over the place, so I knew something was up. Of course, not too long after that, I started seeing tweets about all of the hackers and how the game was not even playable anymore. 
It is a bummer, but what can you do? We will always face the people that like to do their little mods and stuff like that, and it's up to the Call of Duty teams to put a stop to it. So all in all, the game felt great for the little bit that I did get to put into it, although I would have loved to get some more time and dive deeper into the multiplayer. Besides the hackers, I think the game needs a little balancing, but we are well on our way to a great Call of Duty come November. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, throw them down below. Smash that subscribe button for me, guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.